What's up? This is Grizz Geek, and you're tuning in to another Let's Draw video. So, today in this video, I am going to be drawing Sombra um, from Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch just is probably winding down or has already ended its uh, 2020 Lunar um, Chinese New Year event, and uh, Sombra got a new skin for that event. So, I thought it was pretty cool and I decided I kind of want to draw it so I did um, basically she has this um, face changing mask thing um, it's actually really really cool when I saw it on the promos and um, I really wanted it but I haven't actually played in a while uh, currently where I'm at my internet's actually kind of slow so I buffer in game a lot and doesn't really lend itself to a competitive edge on a game like Overwatch um, which is very fast paced and um, so I haven't actually played in a while um, but I still really like the design and I like the concept of it I don't exactly know how it works um, I don't know if it's an if it's an emote or if it just automatically does it um, in game or whatever uh, there was a, a bunch of different designs on the mask I only picked like three um, and uh, so I just started to kind of just draw it and then um, that's kind of where I'm at now now I'm basically kind of digitally inking everything going in with my details and uh, laying everything out um, and uh, you know still trying to go add some of that sombra spicy personality of hers um, so I mean she's a hacker um, and so I just tried to go throw in a lot of uh, her signature flair into the piece um, yeah I uh, I'm drawing all of this um, on my iPad through uh, Procreate um, and what you're actually watching is the time lapse from it and I'm basically doing just a post edit uh, of that time lapse and, uh, so that I can show you guys and uh, um, my art or art style is kind of ever evolving I kind of I get inspired by or I look at an image and there's different things and different techniques that I kind of want to like look at normally um, I would do a very uh, flat or cell shading technique with a lot of my work um, which lends itself uh, a little bit closer to vector artwork um, that's actually the kind of uh, work that I primarily do with my personal art I may do a video about uh, my process with um, uh, my vector artwork. Not exactly sure how I'm going to shoot that though because I don't really have a, um, a screen recording uh, program so I guess once I figure that out I'll probably do that sometime in the future. Um, but as of right now I'm kind of just doing everything through my iPad. <laughs> So, um, and, but yeah, uh, back to what I was saying before, um, I tend to do a lot of, uh, experimentation with my, with my work. And, uh, one of the things I want to kind of explore with this particular piece was a digital airbrushing technique. Um, and yeah, I've, I've seen a couple other videos, um, a couple other artists who do it really, really well. Um, and, uh, so usually kind of the best way to learn something is to just go out and do it, really. So that's basically what I did. I tried to, uh, emulate a lot of the artwork that I saw that I thought was cool. I tried to follow, um, the shape and how they're rendering things out, the kind of colors that they're using, adding in, uh, shadows and highlights, messing around with different colors. Um, trying not to uh, to go into just using solid blacks um, you know uh, using different shades of purple 
uh, on top of browns on or using a yellow uh, for the highlights and messing around with the opacities um, and uh, to kind of just give it that little bit of color dodge or oomph to it and um, you know because you're basically kind of just messing around with light and uh, uh, and color um, there are different shades that uh, at least with color theory is concerned um, you know that reflect other colors to make something brighter or you know something that's pink has a little bit of a blue tint to it um, depending on on the surrounding uh, objects that are that are reflecting those colors uh, in this particular case with Sombra she has this um, this uh, pinkish uh, purple um, uh, vibe going on with her so we'll try to go emulate that with uh, with a lot of the um, ambient lighting and try to go give her that glow to her um, and messing around with the with the darks and the lights trying to push it as far as I could um, so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, it was a lot of fun creating it uh, I definitely learned a lot um, I haven't exactly really went in into uh, like a lot of my technique because a lot of my technique again is just basically uh, trial and error so check out more of my art on Instagram um, that's pretty much it so uh, thanks for tuning in peace I'm out